Uh, I would like to thank Ash and the organizing committee for inviting us um, to highlight our technology. Um, early identification of bleeding risk is important in the management of patients who are bleeding, who are critically ill, severely injured, or they are on anticoagulation and antiplatelet therapies. We know that conventional laboratory-based coagulation assays, uh, such as the PT and the APTT, are time-consuming, labor-intensive, and require a central laboratory. Existing handheld point-of-care devices are used to monitor specific patients, such as the CoaguCheck for monitoring of warfarin anticoagulation. They provide the crude assessment of the coagulation process, such as the ISTAT device, and they do not account for the contribution of platelets and leukocytes to the hemostatic process. So there is need for a low-cost and easy-to-use portable platform that will enable the point of care assessment of the entire hemostatic process uh, outside of a central laboratory. So our team has created a dielectric microsensor termed CloChip that leverages the electrical technique of dielectric spectroscopy to monitor the coagulation process using a minuscule amount of whole blood. The prototype clochip sensor is shown here, and it features a parallel plate capacitive sensing structure with a floating electrode that extracts the dielectric permittivity of blood in a microfluidic chamber. As a blood sample flows through the area, the impedance of the sensor changes depending on the permittivity of the blood sample. We performed initial measurements on a first generation uh, prototype device using initially healthy samples from uh, volunteers um, that had normal coagulation profile. We first obtained a repeatable characteristic dielectric permittivity curve and we determined that the time to peak correlates with the coagulation time. We next used samples from patients with an array of coagulation diseases, including hemophilia A, B, von Willebrand disease, and distal coagulopathy. And compared to normal samples, the dielectric permittivity curves from the samples uh, of patients with coagulation diseases had a statistically significant prolongation in the time to peak parameter from the normal range of 4.5 to 6 minutes to 6.5 to 15 minutes. A receiver operating characteristic curve confirmed that the area under the curve parameter for CloChip was significantly higher than that for both the APTT and PT, suggesting that the CloChip exhibits superior sensitivity and specificity compared to co um, conventional coagulation tests. We also performed in vitro platelet inhibition studies with whole blood from healthy volunteers that we treated with prostaglandin E2 that inhibits platelet function. And what we found was that addition of prostaglandin E2 caused a statistically significant decrease in peak permittivity, not in the time to peak. The, this data showing that the CloChip not only is able to capture platelet function defects, but it also gives a discriminatory reading compared to coagulation defects. So in summary, CloChip is a novel uh, microsensor that enables dielectric coagulometry to be performed in whole blood using a minuscule volume of blood. We show that CloChip readout is sensitive to the entire hemostatic process, including thrombin formation and platelet activation. And these features enable for a comprehensive assessment of hemostasis on a portable platform. Um, on Monday, we're presenting data with a second generation device that we have um, generated. It consists of chemically inert and fully biocompatible materials. We have early data to show that the CloChip can measure the anticoagulant effect of target-specific oral anticoagulant agents, and we have expanded our platelet studies to show a strong correlation between uh, the CloChip readout and parameters of rotational thromboelastometry. 
Our future plans include a pilot clinical study that opens in early 2017 at the Louis Stokes Cleveland VA Medical Center, specifically determining the clinical utility of the clot chip in measuring the effect of target-specific oral anticoagulant agents. Thank you.